Hey, what is up everybody? It's your boy Robo here with another video. Today I'm recording a video on a game called Injustice Online Adventures by, you know it, the Care Bros. Now the Care Bros made this game and it's very well made. Now it just came out and I'm going to tell you guys three locations in which you can find the Deadpool shop locations. Now Deadpool is the shopkeeper in this game. He's a blue version of Deadpool. Very easy to find. You'll spot him instantly. It's really not that hard. But I'll show you all three locations and I'll also recommend you what to get from him if you are going to buy anything from him. Alright, so let's say you just spawned into the game, you're brand new and everything, or you've played this game for a while and you don't know where Deadpool is. Boom, the first Deadpool is literally right here, he's a blue Deadpool, he looks just like this, he looks awesome, right? Now all you have to do is click on his chest, would you like to enter the shop? Of course you want to enter the shop. Now this is the shop, everything's right here. Now I'm really digging this shop, it looks really nice, it tells you what you need and everything, how to use it, the amount of money you need, and the level requirement, all you gotta do is purchase it right there. Now I'm going to show you the second location, which is really close to this one. Alrighty now, so for the second location, what you have to do is head towards Titan's Tower. Now everyone knows where Titan's Tower is, it's a literally a giant T. So you follow the T, you get to the front of it, right where the entrance is. You see that orange exclamation point right there with the blue thing? That is the Deadpool shopkeeper. So what you go over here, go right here, you talk to him, you'll get the exact same shop as the one before. Well, let's go ahead and check it out. So you go over here, like to enter the shop, of course, and you get the same exact shop. Everything saves before, like notice how I had the Captain America helmet still open. Everything saves between shops. And now for the third and final location. Now I recommend going to this one the most because you're going to be spending most of your time here. Now the Hall of Justice is a building commonly known through DC Comics, you know, the Justice League and everything. But if you go to here, this is where Deadpool's going to be, right there again. Now this Deadpool allows you to enter the shop again. Same as everything else, but what I like about this one is that it's close to every single quest that you can repeat and do all the freaking time. It's awesome. So you go ahead and enter the shop, same way as everything, saves throughout, and yeah. Now let's say you just started the game and you don't like the weapon you got. Like let's say I have this bow and arrow, right? I don't like my bow and arrow, so what I want to do is I want to change it. Now you can go to the shop and get a level 0 item, either a pistol, a sword, bow and arrow, or a wooden staff, you know? So everything is right there for you. It costs 450 in-game cash, which is not that hard to get. All you have to do is do basically two quests that are difficult or a bunch of quests that are really easy, but it's really not that hard. It'll take you legit 20 minutes to get the money to do it. It does not matter. So what you do is you can get the sword if you want to be a melee type, get the wooden bow if you want to be a ranged type, staff, melee as well, and the pistol as well if you want to be ranged. Now let's say you're a higher level like me, I'm level 53 or something like that. Now let's say you want to get a good weapon that really helps you, I would recommend either the Amazonian Blade or get the Dawnbreaker. Now the Dawnbreaker, I've seen people use this, this thing is OP. Also the Gladius Sword, I haven't seen too many people use it, I'm about to reach the level 4, I'll try it out and I'll show you guys when I do get the time. This blade looks freaking awesome, I would recommend getting that if you get the time. Now I know this video is very short, I know you guys want to see more videos just like this where I show you how to do things and what I recommend for you guys to do when building your character. Now I will be doing this more in the future, I love games like this, this is like DC Universe Online, I used to play DC Universe Online all the time, I was a Green Lantern in that, so once they add like a Green Lantern corpse in this, I'll be that as well. Now make sure you guys also like this video, comment, and subscribe for future content. Till then, it's been your boy Roball. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you come with me next time when I stream, and I'll see you later. Bye!